heralded as the most comprehensive football survey ever. The Fair Game Group has ranked all 92 league teams for how they perform according to the criteria outlined in the government's fan-led review. Each team is scored in terms of financial sustainability, good governance, fan engagement and equality standards and combine them all into a single rating out of 100. Brentford were the top-ranked Premier League club and 10th overall in the country with an overall score of 63.34. Southampton, West Ham, Everton and Manchester United complete the top five. The lowest scorers in the Premier League and the second worst overall were Nottingham Forest. They scored badly across the board. Next were Bournemouth, who ranked particularly badly in terms of financial sustainability. Newcastle and Leeds both ranked badly for governance. Nottingham Forest. Their wage to, uh, wage to rate revenue score was 197%. That means for every pound that the club earned, nearly two pounds were spent on players' wages. I mean, that's just purely, completely unsustainable. Equally, they were technically insolvent. You compare that to Brentford, and Brentford was spending 48 pence uh, for every pound they earned on players' wages. That is a much more sustainable way of looking at football. The actual UEFA maximum, the very maximum that's recommended, is 70%. And yet, most of the clubs, the average in throughout the 92 was 90%. So you're seeing a huge disconnect between sensible financial control and, and um, you know, what the reality is. You need to be moving towards that because otherwise we're just putting so many clubs at risk. Norwich were the leading team in the championship last season, according to the index ahead of champions Burnley. The championship had the lowest average of the four divisions. Cambridge United were top in League One and third overall, while Plymouth scored a maximum 40 out of 40 for financial sustainability. The top two teams overall were both in League Two, the since promoted Carlisle just behind Wimbledon. Ultimately, as a fan-owned club, we have to be self-sufficient, we have to be sustainable, so we can't rely on a rich benefactor in order to fund us. So as a club, our objective every year has to be to at least break even. Some years we'll make a profit, some years we'll make a minor loss, but ultimately, over a balance, we have to break even. That proves a huge challenge, so what we have to make sure we do is we engage with our fans, engage with our owners as best as we possibly can. There's always room for improvement, but we believe we can be a benchmark for how that should look for every club.